do you have any hidden talents? So I wouldn't say this is a talent per se, but it's a fun party trick. I had to learn 55 prepositions in like 20 seconds back in seventh grade so I could still say 55 prepositions really quickly. So, aboard a bot above across after against long among around does that before we have a limit to decide between the on by down during except for from in the foot of inside and setting to like your next level upon out of overpass and through throughout so to a under underneath unlike un until up up to a pawn with within without. Have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? Um, s like in a serious matter, no. Uh, because all I really do is make silly little videos and you know, um, I've never like thought, I, I have the, has, the thought has crossed my mind of like taking, I think there's days that I need a break, but I've never thought about never coming back. But I think a lot of people do. It depends on really what you do online, I think. If you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? I'd say probably who I end up with in life. I'd love to know who I spend the rest of my life with but I think that's just the hopeless romantic in me. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Probably mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese, and I don't think I could live without. I think it's less of what what would I have to eat and what would I have to not eat. Like, I couldn't survive not eating while like I love spaghetti and meatballs, but I could survive not eating spaghetti and meatballs. You know what I mean? What advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? Don't let people who don't know you define you. There's a lot of people online who will say, she did this or she did that, or that's super weird and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you don't know me in person. So how can you pretend like you do? I, a lot of people like to pretend like they know everything that's going on in your life and they don't. And don't let people do that. And don't don't let people make you make you feel like less of a person and don't let people hurt your feelings when they don't even know you in real life. What are your favorite movies of all time? 10 Things I Hate About You is gotta be a number one, or not a number one, but one of the top for me. I love um, Ponyo. I love that movie. Um, I like We Need to Talk About Kevin. I'm a, I'm a true crime psychological thriller person. I like that movie. I love the Saw movies. Love them. I, I can binge watch those. I also just started re-watching all the Hunger Games movies with my friends, so I love those. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? 2019, sitting in a car with my friend, sitting in the back seat behind the driver, who is one of my friends, and uh, getting a little car sick, and I tell them to pull over, but it's too late, and um, I, I throw up all over the car. It was horrible, and I still feel horrible to this day. To this day, I, I feel very embarrassed and very, I feel so bad that I threw up all over my friend's car. Yeah, we pulled on the side of the highway. Park ranger pulled up and was like, why are you sitting here? And they gave me a little evidence back to hold if I needed to throw up again while we drove to the 7-Eleven. So yeah, that was fun. What is something most people who follow you don't know about you? I don't know if a lot of people know that I'm a donor sperm baby, um, but I am. So that means, you know, that I don't know my father, but not in like not in a in a sad way necessarily. Just he's not really my my dad. He he you know is my father, but my mom wanted to have a kid on her own, and she did. What is your favorite birthday memory? Well, last year I don't know if some of you guys remember this. My mom did the opening a present every day until your birthday thing, starting at the beginning of March. My birthday is March 19th, and she started March 1st. And I opened a present every single day until my birthday, um, because it was my 18th birthday, which is big. It's my golden birthday this year, though. I'm going on a spring, I'm gonna be on spring break over my birthday, so that's exciting this year. But yeah, my favorite birthday memory is definitely last year doing the whole present thing. What's your goal for where you'll be three years from today? I hope to have at least put out one song of my own, hopefully, maybe more, maybe even a EP, maybe even an album. I hope, yeah, I hope that's, I hope I'm really, really working on making music. When did you first go viral? So this was 2020 um, and I found out I was getting jaw surgery. I posted about that a lot and a lot of people followed to watch my watch my story and some people stayed and I'm very, very happy for the opportunity to have an impact on people's lives. Especially, I've gotten a lot of texts like, not texts, DMs like, um, oh, I'm getting jaw surgery and your story really helped me or blah, blah, blah. And I'm very grateful to have had an impact on people's lives. But um, yeah, I went viral for the jaw 
the jaw, the jaw surgery girl moment. Who were the first creators you followed on social media? I was a Dan and Phil watcher, loved Dan and Phil. So I think they were the first people that I really actively watched. Buzzfeed too, when I was younger. I, I really, yeah, I think Dan and Phil and um, Miranda Sings too were my main, the main people I watched on YouTube because I didn't really, I didn't really follow a lot of famous people on like Instagram but it was really, I, I was a YouTube girl. Oh, Jenna Marbles too, I miss her, miss you. But yeah, that was, Dan and Phil probably is one of my biggest ones. Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what could you see yourself doing? I don't see it as my long-term career path. Career path, would I love it to be? I think everyone would. I think that's everyone's dream is to be a social media star. But if my music career never takes off, um, I am currently in school uh, as a forensic science and psychology major. So I would love to do something with like the FBI. If, if yeah, I mean that's that's my major. So that's that's kind of where I'm where I'm headed at this point but we'll see where the future takes me if you had to describe yourself in four words what would they be um emotional silly leader and procrastinator i think those are very good words to describe me as a person um and finally who are your role models definitely my mom because i mean everyone says that but you know my mom has done so much for me as a single mother um raising a, a daughter is probably kind of ah because you know she's definitely yeah one of my biggest role models um She's the only one I can think of off the top of my head, which is kind of bad. And, and there's a lot of celebrities that I look up to, but I can't can't quite think of them right now. Yeah, definitely my mother is my biggest role model. Thank you.